If someone comes to me and says I'm clinically depressed or I feel very, very sad, I would say the first thing you need to do is stop accepting the identity of a clinically depressed person. Stop accepting you have no control over this. And what you need to do is stop identifying that way and let's work together to try and fight against it. A lot of people who are clinically depressed are suffering with something in their life. And if you fix the problem in their life, perhaps they won't feel depressed anymore. The thousands of people who have emailed me saying, my doctor told me I was clinically depressed and it's a disease that I have got in my brain and I can't be fixed. And I started listening to you and I realized that that's not the case and I can fix my own life. And you're the only person who has ever helped me. I believe feeling depressed Mm. is real. I do not believe it's a disease that you catch from the sky and you cannot affect. I believe that no matter what happens, I believe you have control of your own mind and you can fight against it. I believe if you change your circumstances in your life, you may feel different. I'll give you a quick example. I had a guy who emailed me saying he was clinically depressed and he was going to kill himself. I obviously am not a psychiatrist. I'm not a doctor. I told him, because I replied to my emails. I said, have you been to a psychiatrist? He said, yes, I'm clinically depressed. I've been on these pills, this amount of time. I've been on antidepressants. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work. I said, I don't know what to say to you besides this. And he said he lost his girlfriend. That's why I became clinically depressed. I said, listen, go to the gym. Get a six pack first. Once you've got a six pack, email me again. If you still feel like killing yourself, I don't know what else to say to you. I'd say strong body is a strong mind. Go train. He went, he started sending me progress pictures, emailing me him getting in better, better shape. And eventually got a six pack. He's now a professional bodybuilder. And he said, I can't believe I was considering that. I feel so much better, et cetera. The doctor was telling him he was clinically depressed and couldn't cure it. He started taking control of his own life. And now he felt better. That if somebody has depression of any kind, whether it's clinical, whether it exists or not, whether they feel Mm. depressed or not, whatever, that taking control of their life, taking personal responsibility and working hard is always going to be the positive, best thing they can possibly do for their life going forward.